A space, the final frontier, a cold silent expanse dotted with celestial wonders. It beckons explorers, adventurers, dreamers. The desire to know what lies beyond the next star, the next galaxy, is a fundamental human urge. Dr. Eva Rostova, a woman of science and insatiable curiosity, felt that pull more strongly than anyone. Her entire life had been dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Now, staring at the star chart spread across her workstation, she prepared to embark on her most daring mission yet. The object of her pursuit? A lost spaceship, the Magellan. Lost for over 50 years, the Magellan carried with it the key to humanity's future. A revolutionary propulsion system capable of reaching the stars. Eva's heart pounded. The universe held its breath, waiting for her to take the first step. The Magellan, humanity's most ambitious space exploration project, vanished without a trace in 2072. It left behind a single haunting message, a garbled distress call picked up by a remote research station. The message, though fragmented, hinted at a discovery of immense significance, something that could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. Then, silence. The Magellan, along with its secrets, was lost to the void. Eva traced the trajectory of the Magellan's last known course. It led deep into the uncharted territories beyond the solar system. The mission was fraught with danger, but the potential reward was too great to ignore. Finding the Magellan wasn't just about recovering lost technology, it was about reclaiming a piece of their history, a symbol of humanity's unyielding spirit of exploration. The search for the Magellan, dubbed the Odysseus Project, was a testament to human ingenuity. A state-of-the-art spacecraft, the Argo, was built specifically for this mission. Equipped with advanced sensors and a revolutionary AI navigation system, the Argo represented the pinnacle of human engineering. Eva, along with her team of specialists, prepped the Argo for launch. The weight of the world, the hopes of a species yearning for the stars, rested on their shoulders. They were venturing into the unknown, chasing after ghosts and whispers of lost potential. As the countdown commenced, Eva felt a surge of adrenaline. Fear battled with excitement. The unknown stretched before her like a vast, uncharted ocean. This was it, the moment that would define her legacy. The roar of the engines reverberated through Eva's bones as the Argo tore through the atmosphere. She watched as the familiar blue of Earth shrunk behind them, replaced by the infinite blackness of space speckled with the cold fire of distant stars. Their first destination was Mars, a familiar stop on their long journey. The red planet, once a symbol of humanity's future, now served as a refueling station, its surface dotted with mining outposts and research facilities. The journey to Mars was uneventful, a testament to how far space travel had come. But the true challenge lay beyond, in the uncharted expanse where the Magellan disappeared. Eva knew the risks. Space was unforgiving, and the unknown held countless dangers. But she was prepared to face them all, driven by the burning desire to find the Magellan and unlock its secrets. Section 5. The Crimson Expanse of Mars Mars loomed large in the viewport, a rusty red sphere against the backdrop of the inky void. The Argo docked smoothly at Phobos Station, a bustling hub of activity orbiting the red planet. The station, a testament to human resilience, bustled with activity. Miners, engineers, and scientists from all corners of Earth worked tirelessly, their lives dedicated to extracting resources and pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Eva and her team disembarked, their bodies heavy after weeks in zero gravity. The station's artificial gravity, though weaker than Earth's, offered a welcome respite. They had a brief layover to refuel and recalibrate the Argo systems. Time was of the essence. Every passing moment increased the distance between them and the Magellan's last known location. Ava, her determination unwavering, oversaw the final preparations, her eyes fixed on the vast expanse beyond the station's viewport. Section 6 The Dance of a Binary Sun Leaving Mars behind, the Argo ventured further into the unknown, its course set for the Proxima Centauri system. This system, home to the closest star to our sun, held the promise of alien worlds and uncharted celestial phenomena. As they approached Proxima Centauri, the view outside the Argo transformed into a breathtaking spectacle. Two stars, one a blazing inferno, the other a dim red dwarf, locked in a celestial dance, their gravitational pull creating a mesmerizing ballet of light and energy. 
Navigating through the binary system was a delicate operation. The gravitational forces at play were immense, threatening to rip the Argo apart. Ava and her team worked tirelessly, making precise calculations, ensuring their trajectory kept them on a safe course. The Argo, a testament to human engineering, weathered the cosmic storm. Eva, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and awe, couldn't help but feel a sense of insignificance in the face of such raw celestial power. Section 7. Whispers from a Gas Giant Their journey continued. The Argo, now far beyond the familiar territory of the solar system, skimmed the edges of a gas giant, its swirling clouds painted with hues of ochre, crimson, and azure, a breathtaking display of nature's artistry. The gas giant's immense gravitational pull tugged at the Argo, threatening to drag them into its turbulent depths. Eva, her nerves on edge, monitored their course, relying on the Argo's advanced systems to keep them on track. As they navigated the gas giant's outer rings, the Argo's sensors picked up a faint signal. It was a repeating pattern, weak but distinct, originating from the planet's largest moon, a desolate, icy world shrouded in perpetual twilight. The signal, though faint, offered a glimmer of hope. Could it be the Magellan, or was it just another dead end in their long and arduous search? Ava, her curiosity piqued, set course for the moon, determined to find out. Section 8. The Anomaly The moon, a desolate, crater-pocked world, loomed large in the Argo's viewport. Its surface, a tapestry of grays and blacks, reflected the faint light of the distant binary suns, casting long, eerie shadows across its barren landscape. As they approached the moon, the Argo's sensors detected an anomaly, a distortion in space-time itself. It was a phenomenon known as a wormhole, a theoretical shortcut through the fabric of reality. The discovery sent a jolt of excitement through the crew. Could this be the key to the Magellan's disappearance? Had the lost spacecraft stumbled into this anomaly, transported to some distant corner of the universe? Ava, though cautious, couldn't ignore the possibility. Wormholes, though highly unstable and unpredictable, offered the potential for near-instantaneous travel across vast distances. If the Magellan had gone through, this could be their only chance to find it. Section 9. Derelict The Argo, its hull groaning under the immense gravitational stresses, navigated the edges of the wormhole. Eva, her heart pounding in her chest, braced herself as they plunged into the unknown. The world dissolved into a blinding flash of light and energy. When Eva's vision cleared, she found herself staring at a sight that sent shivers down her spine. There, adrift in the vast emptiness of space, lay a derelict spacecraft. Its hull, battered and scarred by time and the ravages of deep space travel, still bore the faded insignia of Earth's space program. It was the Magellan. The discovery sent a wave of relief and exhilaration through the Argo. They had found it. Against all odds, they had stumbled upon the lost ship, a ghost from humanity's past, adrift in the vast cosmic ocean. Ava, her voice trembling with emotion, ordered a cautious approach. The Magellan, though a symbol of hope, also represented a mystery waiting to be unraveled. What secrets did it hold, and what had become of its crew? Section 10, Echoes of the Past. The Argo docked with the Magellan, its airlock connecting with the derelict ships. Ava, her heart pounding with a mixture of anticipation and apprehension, led her team through the silent corridors of the lost vessel. Dust and debris floated in the stale air, illuminated by the beams of their flashlights. The ship, though eerily silent, still hummed with a faint energy, a testament to the advanced technology it once held. As they ventured deeper into the ship's heart, they discovered remnants of the Magellan's crew, personal effects scattered about, half-finished messages on consoles, a table set for a meal that was never eaten. It was like stepping into a tomb, a poignant reminder of the lives lost in pursuit of the unknown. The ship's log, though corrupted in places, revealed a tale of incredible discovery and unimaginable terror. The Magellan, it turned out, had indeed stumbled upon a groundbreaking discovery, one that promised to reshape humanity's understanding of the universe. But their discovery came at a terrible cost. Section 11, A Promise on the Horizon. Eva and her team, after weeks of painstaking work, managed to recover the Magellan's revolutionary propulsion system. It was a technological marvel far exceeding anything humanity had ever created. 
With this technology, humanity could finally reach for the stars, explore the galaxy, and unlock the universe's secrets. The Magellan's legacy, though born of tragedy, held the key to a brighter future. As the Argo, carrying the salvaged technology, charted a course back to Earth, Eva couldn't shake the feeling that their journey was far from over. The universe, vast and full of mysteries, beckoned. The Magellan story was just one chapter in the never-ending saga of humanity's quest for knowledge and exploration. The stars, once distant and unattainable, now seemed within reach, their light a beacon, guiding them towards a future filled with endless possibilities. The journey had just begun.